They might be beautiful and common, but they also could be invasive. Some plants are more of a problem than you might think. Wayne 15's Nathan Gidley joins us now with a look at what plants you should watch out for. Yeah, all invasive plants were once considered beneficial in some capacity. They could have been used for erosion control, landscaping, and pest management. But over time, these plants do so well that they take over native plants. They decimate habitats, take over landscapes, and cause a negative impact to the economy due to the estimated $20 billion or more required annually to control invasive plants in the United States. You may remember these photos I took of spring blooms back in April. They were pretty, but also are considered invasive. Calorie pear trees produce these blooms that smell like fish and can produce ample seeds and send up root suckers, which are vegetative growths that can produce more trees over time. The seeds can also be dispersed by birds. Now, while considered invasive, it is legal to plant them just like the popular burning bushes. This plant is often used as a simple landscaping bush, but became invasive based on how quickly it grows and how it also produces many seeds that can be carried off by birds. It's large. The shrubs can get to be up to 20 feet tall and 15 feet wide. A lot of people plant them really close to their house, not understanding how large they can get. And even if you are to cut down a lot of these invasive plants, including the burning bush, it will send up renewed growth sort of continuously, you really have to try to kill it. And imagine that, but on a scale for acres and acres of our forested lands, how much time and energy that would take to remove that and replace it with natives is really difficult. The most widespread invasive plant taking over area forests and parks is the Asian bush honeysuckle. It was originally planted to help control soil erosion, but now it's illegal to plant. Autumn olive is very similar to the Asian bush honeysuckle in that it was used for the same purpose and is spread quickly. It is also illegal to plant. Finally, poison hemlock is illegal and has spread rapidly. It lives for two years, often comes in clusters, has a dark spot in the center, and most importantly, has a smooth stem with purple splotches. It was originally used as medicine, but has since spread because it has been used for decorative purposes. For large um, farm animals consuming anywhere from like 50 grams, I think it was, um, can result in death within a couple hours. Convulsions, it's not, not pretty. Um, even, uh, you can even have a slight real allergic reaction if you get the plant juices in your eyes or mucous membranes. So while it's safe to touch, I would advise wearing gloves when you pull it out and be careful if you get any of the plant sap on you to not rub your eyes or anything. All right, if you have an invasive plant in your yard right now, you might want to consider replacing it with a native plant. A lot of times an invasive plant requires a special treatment or herbicides, though, because an invasive plant is hardy. Talk to an expert to make sure they are removed properly. Sometimes a plant removal can take years. You can access a full list of invasive plants to our area and ways you can help keep them in check by visiting this story on Wayne.com. Nathan Gidley, Wayne 15 News.